My boyfriend just surprised me. interesting so basically like what I charge is happy Easter everybody I have a busy week I'm gonna take you guys along with me and if I have a few mental breakdowns you get to watch here is the plan for everything I have going on it's Thursday I just got back from young adults it was amazing literally almost started crying just thinking about how good God is and you know and that he is alive so first thing I'm doing is for church for Sunday morning I'm making 300 muffins and cookies for one of the Easter services I'm also doing like a little bake sale I've talked about it before um, it's like my little side hustle I'm making I think like 20 party trays which is gonna take a while okay. then the last big thing i have i'm throwing easter like i'm throwing like a little easter lunch thing with, and i'm doing all the cooking whenever i throw events or whatever like i don't want anyone else to stress i like to take on the stress i don't want anyone to stress i just want them to come and have a good time because they have kids and i'm like let me do my thing so right now i'm gonna start like kind of decorating and i live in a tiny apartment it's not that tiny but um i'll show you my kitchen is pretty big it's kind of like an, a very open kitchen. It's pretty good for an apartment. And then um, I'm gonna have like the eating area over there and then that's my living room. I moved my mirror over here and then here's like the my living room and then I just gotta like decorate. I have all this stuff to do. So we can look at it as like for me, you go back in history and you feel consent or permanently looked as what was your post here to the because making Banana shortcake pudding for my little Easter party. This stuff is so good. So easy to make too. I just use cake, no wafers. I'm not doing bananas because not everybody likes bananas. This is the pudding. Banana pudding, sweetened condensed milk, milk, and a cool whip. It's absolutely crazy right now, but I don't want like my hair to get in anything, so <laughs> where was? I just go on TikTok and I look up like certain cool recipes and everything and then I kind of make my own little twist to it. The banana pudding is done and now I'm just working on the Oreo truffles. It's midnight and I'm finally gonna go to bed. Woke up at six this morning. I got a lot of stuff done though which I'm so glad that I went to the grocery store the other day because everything was out. I still need to go back and get cream cheese but we'll have to do that tomorrow. It's Friday morning. We got so much to get done. My nephew's coming over. I'm watching him uh, for a couple hours, so I wanna go ahead and get like a little head start at the Thank God, I got myself an energy drink though. Woohoo, got myself an energy drink. I'll make my bed. Right now I'm baking churro cheesecake and I'm gonna get the little games ready. I always like doing little games, you know, cause I think they're fun. Basically, it's kind of like white elephant if you've ever played that. So everyone is going to sit in a circle. Every one of these eggs is going to have a piece of paper saying Happy Easter. Or it's going to say a number. And there's going to be a number on this bag. And then they get what's ever in this bag. So it's kind of like Russian roulette white elephant. I have a Subway gift card, Wendy's gift card, M&M's and a Subway gift card. Wendy's and peanut M&M's. And then I'm playing another game where who can match, who can match these the fastest. So there's 14 eggs in each. And as soon as I say go, whoever matches them first wins a prize. I get a caramel bunny, Burt's Bees chapstick, and a candle from Walmart. I just think little games like that are just so fun to pull now. I just think, I just think they're fun. Currently making uh, coffee cake girl more girl cookies. And my nephew's over there watching Clifford. Hi! I've been baking now for four hours and watching him on and off. It's been great. Here is the churro cheesecake bites and then I'm gonna put the cheddar on it and I'm also watching some documentaries. Chocolate chip muffins. There's just one box of the coffee cake cookies. And in between all of this, I'm currently shredding six different types of cheeses because I'm making teenies macaroni. Almost 6 p.m. Okay, I've been doing this dang near 11 hours. I am tired. My feet are literally aching. 
I'm starving. I've had hot Cheetos and a sausage link. It's 10 p.m. I'm still working on the muffins, but I'm doing the blueberry muffins now. Have the streusel. It's seven in the morning. I went to bed like at 1 32 o'clock. You know, you can see in my eyes. Straight up bad. But I'm gonna shower, straighten my hair, and I have people coming for pickup orders starting around like eight o'clock, I think. So I'm gonna get around. But I honestly am glad I stayed up so late last night because I don't think I would have been able to go to bed like stressed. So glory to God, period. I'm gonna read a little bit because I know if I don't do it now, I'm not gonna do it today because it's so crazy. But I'm gonna read today in John. Making meatballs in a crock pot. Literally just barbecue sauce and like Italian meatballs from Walmart, like in the frozen section. Every time I make these, people are like, oh my gosh, how do you make them? I'm like, oh, if you only knew. And then I tell them. Um, 7.50. And now I am gonna go ahead and just start getting everything ready so I don't have to be stressed. And honestly, this glory to God, because I didn't, yesterday I was not sure if I was gonna be able to, to do all of this stuff. It's all working out. Oreo truffles. Here is the little eating area set up. I told myself I wasn't gonna do too much, so I feel like this is a good medium. Let's put balloons on the wall. These are the Easter baskets I made my nephew, so they're all babies, but this is the first one. This is the girl. She's still like a little baby, so she didn't get much. And then my oldest nephew, he can kind of talk now, so I got him like that talking cactus thing. I'm so excited for him to use it. I have everything set up, and now I'm just waiting for people to pick up orders. So this girl just said she's on her way, so I went ahead and put the toppings for the churro cheesecake. She ordered an Oreo truffle and then churro cheesecake bites. I'm only telling you this because I always think this stuff is interesting. So basically like what I charge is $30 for two dozen and then $40 for churro cheesecake bites. Cause the churro cheesecake bites alone take like $25 to make with the box and everything included. Cream cheese is not cheap. And then it also takes like a day to like make. To make sure that it's worth it for me because I literally spent like two days prepping this, you know what I mean? But yep, she'll say she's here. I go run out to her car and then she pays me and then woohoo, yep. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready um, because I wanna straighten my hair and curl it and then do my makeup just a little bit. So I just found out I don't serve at church this week or tonight, I serve tomorrow. With... So I'm just gonna get my hair ready for later i blow dried it and i'm using a heat protectant just on the ends then i have the same hair straightener that i got when i was a sophomore isn't that crazy it's this paul mitchell one but basically how i straighten my hair is i just go in really small sections um I don't think I want to like straighten it, straighten it. I want to put a couple curls in it, so I'm not gonna like make it super, super flat. I'm just gonna kind of just run, run it through. Taking pictures of everybody smiling, willing to listen, so I just kind of muttered, "Yeah, it's kind of." Across. I'm watching like, documentaries. Really about it. My dad rarely ever to cut it across, like just because he knew it could be dangerous. I'm making it's an oven baked macaroni. It's the one from Teeny. She was like on Chef Ramsay. Oh, I've made it like three other times before. It's so good. I'm making two batches of that. And then here are some of the desserts for today. I'm on a cute little board. So here are the Oreo truffles, a little bit of strawberries, you know, for some pizzazz. My boyfriend just surprised me with these cute little flowers. <laughs> so very nice. <laughs> also, here is the outfit. I got this from Target during 2020. I'm currently on my way to church. I just got done with my little Easter at home and I'm currently on my way to church with all these muffins and cookies. I'm gonna go drop them off. And I have not updated you guys since I was right here in this spot, but my family came over, it was amazing. I was so stressed and then I took the muffins over to church. 
that was stressful because there was like a little mishap i had to come back and make more muffins anyways i'm like so exhausted that like my body's like vibrating so i'm gonna go to bed it's like 10 p.m see you tomorrow on easter sunday sunday morning six in the morning i'm gonna go to the gas station and get me a big old energy drink yeah. I'm back from the gas station and I gotta do a couple more orders people are picking up. I got this C4 one. I've never had a C4 energy drink, but it's 300 milligrams caffeine. That's what I need. I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to make these. I'm making two batches. Spray your pan. Just put an, uh, a parchment paper down. And then in a bowl, we're just gonna mix sugar and cinnamon together. And then you just sprinkle the pan, cause this is gonna like make the churro coating. Take two crescent rolls, mine are from Walmart, or you could use like all these. Also wash your hands, cause you need clean hands. This is why you put your cinnamon sugar down first because it's gonna soak into the croissant and then it'll be crusted on the outside. Just gonna preheat your oven to 350. So if you're just making one batch, you're just gonna bake it for five minutes because you want it, you want this part to cook for a little bit. Otherwise, if you put the the cheesecake on top of it and cook it, it this isn't gonna cook and you get it's gonna be nasty. Okay, so I'm gonna cook both of mine because I'm making double batched. Um, I'm gonna cook both of mine for six minutes. I'm already filling this energy drink. For the filling, get yourself a bowl. Okay, <clears throat> take these out and you see like they're not fully cooked because you don't want them to burn, but they're cooked enough where when you put them back in, they'll cook all the way. I'm just gonna say this like you're doing one batch because most people are not gonna make you know double batch but if you are making double batch you're obviously gonna need four but just for a regular batch you just need two cream cheeses like eight ounce ones mix your cream cheese first a little bit so it's not so clumpy add if you're doing one batch you're just gonna add one egg but like i said i'm doing double so i'm adding two eggs it's the easiest recipe but it tastes so good a regular batch is half a cup of sugar but i'm doing Double batch, one cup of sugar. One batch, only one of these, two batches, two of them. It's just sweet and condensed milk. Add some vanilla. This is what it should look like. Crescent rolls for the top. This is how it makes like the crusty flavor, or yeah, like that churro crust flavor. You just put this on the top, then generously add the sugar, cinnamon sugar mixture on top. These are gonna go in the oven if you're baking one for 32 minutes, baking two, 35 minutes. I have somebody here for order and I'm gonna put the toppings on Nutella and then I just go up and down sweet and condensed milk my ring camera and then, this is a gas money floor. Anyways, I started my period and I'm having really bad cramps. So I'm taking the off brand Midol at Walmart. It's like $3 cheaper. It's like the great value kind. But <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready for Easter. I'm serving today. So I wanna get there like at 10, 15, cause it's gonna be really crazy in there. Um, this is the dress I'm wearing. I got it from Target, no, I got it from TJ Maxx, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the steamer and get all the wrinkles out of it. My boyfriend got me this for my birthday. I'm gonna start getting ready for church. Set on, need some sunshine. I got 
this lamp for my bedside. I'll link it for you guys. I'll put it in my storefront. It's like a little gold accent. It's really a lamp shade. It's more like glass. But it's also like an adjusting. Like it. I don't know. We're going to go check it out. How's this going? Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. I'm an idiot. Okay, this little thing came off. So I think you guys did this. Twist it back on. Test it out. Moment of truth. <gasps> that is perfect. Like the amount of light that it is. Oh my gosh. And then it gets brighter. And then lighter. Guys, this is so cute. I love it. Honestly, that's a per like, cause it's like a yellow tint. So I really like that it's like a yellow tint. That is so cute. This has been my go-to favorite little hairstyle. Just so easy. It starts at 11 and I have to be there by like 10.25. I already know it's about to be so packed. Here is the hair. I love it, it's so cute. Then the curls will fall out just a little bit so it'll be a little bit more on the wavy side. And then now I'm gonna go do my makeup. I'm wearing some like open-toed shoes so I'm gonna paint my toenails real quick so they dry while I'm doing my makeup. I'm gonna use this Essie. Honestly, I need to start getting pedicures again, but it's just like, I'm just not very consistent with it. You know what I mean? It's crazy because I know no one's ever going to notice. My makeup is so hit or miss, like if I like it or not. You know, I just kind of hope for the best. I'm also filming a TikTok, Get Ready With Me. So if you guys see me looking at a bunch of random places, that is why. I'm trying to do it all, man. First, we're going to start with milk primer. I have another Easter today with my family, so honestly, I'm just gonna bring leftovers. <laughs> you know, I invited a lot of people to church this weekend. Nobody's coming. That's okay. I did my part. I've been going to church by myself for the most part. Um, my boyfriend, he'll drive calm to my church um, pretty often, but you know, it is pretty far drive. But I honestly love going to church by myself. I used to be so nervous at first, and then now it's... Kind of like therapeutic. I made 11 orders of churro cheesecake bites this weekend for my little party day sale. All the money I made from that is gonna go towards my Florida trip because I just, when I go there, I just wanna be able to like, you know, spend money and not like stress about like my bills or anything like that. Honestly, still freak out when I use this Rare Beauty blush because I'm still trying to learn how to use liquid blush, you know? Like, I don't feel like I'm rubbing it in uh, for something. I feel like it like melts right into your skin. I'm gonna use my mascara. I did a little bit of pencil eyeliner. And, yeah, I don't want them too dark. Just something nice and light and fun. I put my dress on. I love this dress. Okay, here is the dress. It's a little tight, uh, especially on the arms. Wear hoops. Hoops are always my favorite thing to wear. I'm putting this little butterfly necklace on, it's so pretty. These are the shoes I'm gonna wear. Here is the fit. <laughs> this is girly. Getting a little video of this. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Oh, hey girl, look at my beautiful friends. Oh, period, period. Okay. On our way to do a Easter pinata. That's the pinata we're doing. All the adults are gonna be hitting. For some reason, my family likes to do pinata, so we're gonna be doing a pinata. I am 
back from Easter. I'm gonna go have a movie night and relax. I'm super stuffed right now. But overall, this was a crazy weekend and I tried my best to film it, but you know, I just cannot really get everything. It's the day after Easter. I slept for 12 hours. I literally slept from 10 to 10. It was so nice. But I am gonna slowly get back on track, okay? I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the things um, that we did. So I didn't really record much of my Easter just because it was so hectic and you know. These cute little baskets we got and these little pez sticks and then the, ooh, honestly this chocolate sounds so good because i started my period literally the day i had my easter thing i started my period so i've been like eating all this chocolate and then i bought this toss game because i love this game but yesterday easter me and my boyfriend were um playing that game and then my family always does like a pinata for easter and no one recorded when i was going crazy hitting this thing. So excited to eat my leftovers. So I'm just gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna hit legs and I'm gonna end the vlog here. But thanks for watching this video. And thank you guys for, you know, being my friends, my internet friends. But yeah guys, um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.